Lewis Cameron, we got a great. play Mike we're gonna move about 30 yards down all right pop the camera I'll grab the pod okay let's move You're gonna get a touchdown here. It's coming this way, Ricky. It's coming right this way. Right here. Right here. Right here. Come. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here we go. Oh. Borderline lay just there. Bottom lay on this side. Stop now. Yeah, man. Yep. Yeah. 
five going the other way.
Patrick Russell and also Game? Oh, 
also lost it a lot of times. I think the last time they won it was around uh, 91. 91. You've had some great teams, and I will tell you this, that as long as you live, you will remember today, because you may never ever play on a championship team again. I congratulate you. You were the best team today, and I would just tell you that you would not be here unless you had the coaches you had. Congratulations. Yeah. Well played. You players, for all the commitment, we've had 43 uh, boys out all year. And it was a, one of the biggest teams we've had, like I mean, in terms of numbers, and the hardest working kids, the most respectful boys that listened to us when we told you from square one. Coach Biscuit, Coach Tessie, Coach Carmen, Coach Razor, that if you listened to us all year and did your best, we teach you how to win a championship, and we finally got it. So congratulations. I want to thank the coaching staff who did a fantastic job. I want to thank all you guys who committed. I want to thank our cheerleaders for the beautiful uh, cookies they gave us. I want to thank our student guys who backed us up in the Guys, any other coach would like to say something? Sit down, honey, we're not done yet. Hey, Kurt, let's go! Guys, yesterday, or the day before, you guys are the best football team I have ever seen in high school. A lot of people here got to see it firsthand, people from all over. You guys are the best. There's probably no one around who can touch you. God bless each and every one of you. I love you. I'll never forget any of you. I love you, and bitch. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. I love you. One thing, guys. One thing. Line. <laughs> a heck of a year. Everyone, Everyone knows that. Congratulations to our graduating seniors. The guys are never going to play on this field again. Yep. You guys went out in style. Yeah, We're number one. Way to go, guys. Yeah. guys. I just want to say one thing very, very quickly. It's tough to to add to what the coaches, what Mr. Fox have said. But remember one thing, you made all of us proud today, the entire Notre Dame community, and especially your parents and yourselves. Your coaches do this because they're committed to Catholic education and they're committed to, to education in a complete sense. Thank you, thank you for representing all of us in the manner in which you have. And as Mr. Fox said earlier on, today is a day that you'll never forget. 
thanks again and God bless. All right. All right. And go ahead. Well, uh, Coach Oreskovich, you've been close a number of times. You finally got the monkey off your back today. Uh, how are you feeling? Well, it's a great feeling today. Um, yeah, in the past, we had some difficult times. We, uh, it's been closer and closer every year. The first, we were lost by about three touchdowns. Second time, by about a touchdown. And the third time, by a point. And so we finally won. And now uh, the, the, uh, the, the kids played great. The coaches did a great job. And everything worked out the way we wanted to. Was it, was it tough getting... Uh, yourself, the staff, and, and the kids back into football after what happened last year? No, I think uh, most of the kids, as soon as September hit, they wanted to play. And uh, we were really gung-ho about it. Um, I think the whole league was. A lot of the, taking that away from the kids really hurt them. And um, now that we got it back, and uh, um, they, they, they responded well. The numbers came out. We had great numbers, both junior and senior. And that really helped us out. We had over 40 uh, senior and over uh, close to 100 kids coming for junior, so they wanted to play. Looked uh, to the uninitiated that uh, the game was won on both sides of, of the line today. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Defensively, we're very strong, we're very solid. Not taking away anything from West Lane. I mean, they came out there, they did their best. They're a strong team. But our defense is we just have the horses. We have some big, strong boys. And we can't even move a ball on our own defense either. We've tried, and it's hard to. I mean, uh, they're just big, strong, and they don't, they don't move easily, and they're fast, and they're very, very aggressive. Did you see this, uh, what happened today? Did you see that back in September when you started camp? <clears throat> Surprise you at all? You know what, I, even back then I thought we had a good team. I didn't really say too much because I wasn't sure how they were going to gel together, but they gelled very well together. It's just team chemistry and there's other things that come into play, not just their size and your strength and aggression. But you have to be able to move those, get those kids organized and get them doing what you want them to do. And they did. They responded greatly. Great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks for your time. No problem. So guys. Sunny. Oh, okay. Okay. Just back up a bit. We'll start. Okay. All right. What should we start with, Daryl? The, the famous how do you feel question? No, we'll get that off the sheet. Uh, what's, your, what's, your, what's your first one? Mark. Mark and Steve. Mark and Steve. Okay. Uh, Mark, what's the difference between uh, the game today and how uh, West Lane and yourself matched up earlier in the year? Um, I guess basically we, we wanted all year. Like we set, our, we set a goal from the beginning. We just, everybody came together. Um, in this whole game, the coaches, great coaching this game. I don't know, we just all gelled together today and it just, just worked out for us today. Yeah, we'll play with a, a real shortened field uh, thanks to the defense and their kicking game. How did that play a factor? Well, our defense uh, has been our backbone of our team the whole year. Um, our defense and our, and our offense have complemented each other like all year. Uh, defense would give our offense great field position every single game, so it's worked out for us good. Okay. And Steve, uh, first uh, D1 title for the school in a number of years. You guys have been to the big game before and never won it. Uh, uh, what's the difference with uh, this year's team versus some of the past years that didn't uh, win? Uh, this year, like Mark said, we, we had an unstoppable defense. We, it was our backbone all year. Gave us great field position, gave us a chance to score every time. Every time we had the ball on offense, we had a chance to score because of the field position the defense gave us. And our offense was great too. We didn't make... We made minimal mistakes and scored when we had the opportunities. You got what you needed off the first drive uh, as, as things turned out. Yeah, um, coach has been saying all year long, momentum. Momentum really changes a team, and scoring on the first drive was, was really key for us today. It gave us all the momentum, and we carried it throughout the game. Niagara Falls, the visual focal point of a thriving region composed of 12 different municipalities.